Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, anime lovers of all ages. Your boy Lone Wolf is back. Um, and yes, this is all recorded in the same day. So, <laughs> this video, um, I'm going to be showing you uh, this new game I found called Arena of Saiyans. It's kind of like uh, Saiyans of Valor for the Androids. For the Android users, it's called Saiyans of Valor, I believe. And for iOS people like myself, it's called Arena of Saiyans. It's a Dragon Ball Z game. I'm going to go in the basis of how this game runs and everything so far from what I've been playing. As you can see, I've been playing. I'm on level 39. It's not really difficult. But it's going to be either relatively short or I'm going to probably be as much of the descriptive as possible. Bunched up into a small video. So... And the sound isn't on because I cut it off. So, I'm about to cut it on now. So, as you see, I'm in zone 53. This is my server area. Um, my name is The Lone Wolf. Like it, boy. Um, and I'm a VIP 3 because I have spent like a dollar. No, two dollars here on this game because it's not really hard to top up. So, as you can see, it is one of those games where you can top up and, you know, increase your VIP level. Um, hold up. Let me find a sound because I know I don't, I don't want to hear my dosage tones the entire video so let me see do i click on this i do so the system music oh my god oh turn it down that was really loud i forgot there is no uh it's not like brave souls where they have like a little health bar thing so anyway i'm gonna try to try to talk over it as much as i can so it don't you know overpower me so all right so basically this is the home screen of Arena of Sands, or Arena something. I forgot I said. What's up, Gap? Arena of Sands. So basically, um, you start off with Goku and I think Boma, and you go through like the tr the tu tutorial, everything. They have the help menu over here to show you exactly how everything can be done here. Um, she'll tutorialize you all the way through. I kind of can't show that now because I've already got past the tutorial. So basically, it's just showing you how to how the game plays. Now, on your left side, you have the quest area. This is something like everybody has a daily thing in their game. So, with this one, you have, you know, you have to, ooh, I got to claim that. No, I can do that real fast. Um, you have everything you got to do to get up to the 100 mark. It's really not that hard. It's very simple. So, you do that. Um, I got to do all mine, obviously, today. Um, I'll show you in the video based off, you know, what I do. So, um, you do these out. You get to 100. You get all the stuff from out the treasure, the little thing pieces. I gotta collect my pieces, and this is a ACHV. I think this is more so when you summon and um, when you gather enough gear and everything. So it happens to be that way. You just oh, I joined the league, sweet. So I gain you gain crystals mainly just by doing that. That's all you have to do. Simple, right? You don't have to spend money on the game unless you really want to. You don't have to spend money for crystals. You honestly can get crystals accumulatively just by doing your dailies and logging on every day. It's really simple. So, and then of course you got your sign in, login bonuses where you can also get crystals for logging in every day. So you don't have to spend money if you don't want to. It's entirely up to you. So of course I got to collect all my stuff and I got my seventh day present because I've logged in seven times this uh, in the week. And then you also, I get 200 crystals or, or diamonds. I'm sorry, I keep saying that, crystals. Diamonds and these Dragon Balls. And I'll explain to you what those Dragon Balls for in a minute. Now, first we go, to, I'm going to show you left to right how everything works. All right? So we have the mailbox system, obviously. You collect all your stuff. Um, oh, I get more stuff. I always play all this stuff once I collect them all because it's, it's like a lot of stuff. And I want to, like, get it out of here it's in my way. Yes, I joined the league. Saying Pride League. Sweet. I like, I like having leagues. All right. So... On your left side, you have your quests, your mail, your help, and your chat. Do I use chat? No. But it's there. Like most games on system, there is a chat button where you talk to people and blah. Um, quest, of course, is where your dailies, where you pick up your dailies and everything. Um, help is where they tell you, like, hey, this is, this is what's new and this is what's going on. Um, you can click on it whenever you want to. The red dot means it's something you haven't read yet, honestly. So you just go and check it out. Um, on the bottom left, here you back. You have your backpack, um, where you you know obviously keep your inventory. You have the team selection, where you can actually change and reroute your teams. You know what I'm saying? Like I'll show you my team after I get done explaining. We have the summon pattern, and of course, if you're avid in the summoning type of games like Brave Souls and you know Naruto, Dokkan Battle, all that other stuff, you can tell what summoning is. You go there to summon for a new teammate characters. 
um, it's kind of it's hard to decipher. It's not like Brave Souls and Dokkan Battle where you and and uh, Blazing where you can tell when it's a five star or a six star. And in this case, a six star character or seven star character, you can't tell. It kind of just shoots you through. Um, it's also a shard based game as well, but you can also get the character without having to do all that. Um, so we'll get to that in a second. The handbook is basically your album of all the characters that you have. So you can, you know, look at your album and see exactly how many you got and where to get them from and how to collect the pieces. So that's what that is. And the Android is where you would level up your special Android ability. Um, I have Android 18, like that's what you start off with. So Android 18. Um, really simple process. It's not really hard. Like I, once I get into the gist of it, then you'll understand. Um, there is partner where you can partner certain people that you don't use with people that you do use to get a stat boost. It's really cool. And stronger is where you basically just train to make them stronger. Now, uh, du there's dungeon and then there's battle. Battle, of course, is story mode. Uh, bat and dungeon is where you uh, go and either get a uh, leveling regents for your characters uh leveling regents for gear uh money um your android and it was another quick thing but we'll go from there all right so backpack here here i here you have a backpack capacity of 1500 all your items are stored in here whether it's for stamina whether it's for your adventure mode which i'll get to um and your xp boost um, now at the bottom you see this is the XP boost here ultra divine water large ultra divine water and normal ultra divine water are the three things you use to max out your characters um, they the ultra ones are really easy to come by the normal ones the large and the super ones obviously are gonna be rare uh, you have your own gear compartment you have your own gear area where you get your gear and stuff from the highest level of gear of course is seven because of you know dragon balls seven dragon balls um, I only have like four of these so um, and Goku has them all um, and then this is where your heroes are. Uh, you have 26 out of 15 of these. So you're going to have 1,500 of these, which is pretty cool. Um, now, the team area. This is my team so far. I'm, I'm still roughly trying to get through the story mode, so I haven't gotten there just yet. Um, so I have Goku. I have um, Prince Vegeta, as I like to call him. I have young Goku. And I have Android 18. Now, Android 18 is my strongest character because she is my six-star character. I have not ascended uh, Goku just yet. So, um, as you can see here, it is a gear-based game. Again, gear is not hard to come by. So, you attach it all to gear, enhance everybody. You can promote them up, which is here. But you do need a copy of the same hero to promote them higher. Um, so, there's... Uh, what about saying promoting there's upgrade and upgrade is where you'll go to max out your character again with the xp pieces and you see at the bottom where it says partner partner is again you connect the characters together that you don't use like i stopped using boma and replaces her with android 18 i stopped using gohan and replaced him with vegeta so i also partnered those two together to make goku stronger because they have a obviously you can see the boat the boost of attack for partnering up with those two um and that's basically team. You just replace your characters, upgrade them, gear your character up. That's usually how they go. Now, summon, of course, you have two areas to summon from. Well, if you want to be technical for it. So you have the Dragon God of Earth, Shinron. You uh, get this where you this is where the Dragon Balls come in handy. You collect these Dragon Balls during the story mode. And also, of course, as like free gifts or whatever. And you can summon for three to five star characters, as you can see in a little ball over there. Uh, obviously, I do this every day, so I can see what I can get. How lucky I get with a five-star character. So I'll do the I'll do the ten one for you, just so you can see the Dragon Ball scatter. It's like making a wish, and uh, I got uh, you see these promotion cards are what increases and promotes your character. The plus twenty. Once you get the plus twenty, you can exceed your character past that level, and then it go to twenty one to like fifty or something like that. Um, but you do need the same character to make them exceed higher. Um, at the moment, only I don't have any characters that does it except Young Goku, and I, I already exceeded him past his level tw plus twenty level. Um, but you see the difference between there's Jace and Yamcha; those are legit characters, and they can actually be used playable. I'll show you how the shard system works in a second. Um, I do got two more, so I'm gonna knock them out too. And I think I got and I got Puar, which I wouldn't ever use a three star. So it's not really hard to get a six star in the game. So. That was that one. And then we have Dragon God of Namek. 
that's where you get your four to six star characters. You know, like as you can see, Golden Frieza, Super Saiyan God Goku, Super Saiyan God Vegeta, uh, Beerus. You know, those people. So I do my. You get one every. You get one free one every day. So you pick your free chance one here, and then you get lucky. I got a Frieza Final Form shard. Again, I'll get to that in a second. Now again, the diamonds aren't hard to come by. But you can all, if you get 2,000, again, it wouldn't be that high if you couldn't get them. It's 2,000 to do a 10 summit, 10 stars, 10 time, 10 time summit. So then it's a lot, it's a lot easier and a better chance to get a six star character. That's how I got Android 17, I mean Android 18. So you do the 10 times or you can spend 250 and summon once every blue moon. Um, again, there is a second section for the gear. Again, there's there's two sets of Dragon Balls. One's for the gear and one's for the uh, heroes. So again, I have 13 of these. This is where you get the three to five gear. I don't use three to five gear. Everybody that I use has uh, the orange gear. There's the levels to it. There's blue. No, there's green, of course, the common. There's blue, that is rare. There's purple, that's epic. There is four, I think is the orange one, is orange gear. The fifth one is the red gear. And then this last one on the, the six star one is the um, the red um, the, like the yellow gear that Goku had on. That's the or seven star. It's kind of hard to pronounce that. But um, yeah. So this is actually for the gear purposes, and you can always upgrade the gear and get better gear. And then we have this one right here. Um, if you do a two thousand summon on the gear here, you get a guarantee hundred percent six star gear. Like there is no four, no five. No, nothing. And this gear, I'm sorry, I think my camera's in the way. I think that's why you can't see it. But over here, I have to move that. Turn my thumb down a little bit. Actually, I can put it over here with the, with the stamina. As you can see, it's 2,000. Again, it's not hard to come by. Um, But you do your free one for the day. And then you'll get what you get. I got a five-star Yamcha wristbands. It come in handy for characters that you just want to be strong. All right, and that's the summoning part of that area. Again, the handbook is where you would go to collect your characters and where you would go to collect them. Um, again, you, they have a nice amount of characters. There are two different types of characters. There's the physical attack characters, which are the ones who go head on and fight. And then there is the magic damage people who range attack. Like you can see, Super Saiyan, Sa Super Saiyan God Goku is physical. Beerus is physical. Vegito is ranged. And, and Shin Android 18 is ranged. The purple, you know, Majin sign by him. You got Super Saiyan Goku, Evil, Boo, um, Golden Freeze is a seven star, obviously. Um, you have all, the, you have a nice, decent amount of characters to go for, and they do add on to them as time progresses. So, um, total, total is up, um, amount of heroes is 46, so they say. So, again, it's, I can collect these? Huh. I never knew what that meant, but now I see what that means now. Anyway, I will check that in a minute. Again, uh, as you can see, I have Frieza, I have Piccolo here. You see it's 50 out of 80, which means I, I definitely have to get 80 more to unlock Piccolo. Same with anybody else. Everything, everybody on the game costs 80 shards. Not like on Death Awaken where everything is like 60, 80, 120. No matter what level you are, it only costs 80. You have to get 80 of their shards in order for you to get those characters. So, that's basically what the handbook is. Android again, I don't have the green energy to make her stronger, but Android 18 is level 12 at the moment Once you have all this energy on on the left side of your screen um, You'll push upgrade it will level her up to make her attacks a lot stronger and they help you in the story mode Which I'll get to later um, Partner again, you can unlock these once you get the, you get a total of one two three four five six seven eight eight partners but you got to get to level 70 to unlock all the partner slots and then in which you'll just put characters that you don't use into the partner slots to make your team stronger. Especially the ones that they link with, it'll make them attack stronger, the HP stronger. It's a really good uh, thing there. Like I could have Gohan and Boma in there, so it helps increase Goku. Uh, again, it helps increase Vegeta. Boma helps increase young Goku. Um, 18 is by herself, but that's because I don't have any of the other characters. So. And then we have stronger. You go to training, and this is where training comes in handy. You just get training points. You get the training points. You throw them into attack and your HP. Yeah, it, it's pretty self-explanatory. I'll show you how to how to do that in a second. But um, let's get some gameplay going, just so I can just show you exactly 
where how the gameplay works. So right now I'm on chapter 16. No, am I on chapter 16? Yeah, I'm on chapter 16. All right, so I'm on chapter 16 on normal. So again, there's a system. There's a star system. You will click here, and you can also this this how the setup is. It's pretty much you can let it do it by itself, especially if you have a strong team like I do. They tell you about the story of Dragon Ball Z. You can change the speed of the uh, game here and make them make them go super fast, so you ain't gotta watch it. That's and okay, I forgot my team is really strong, so it's kind of hard to like get everything off at the moment. But I'm gonna try to show you before it kills everything. All right, so Android 18 skill release, she nukes the battlefield. So the stronger that Android you make that to Android, the stronger that nuke would be. So that's why it comes in handy. Um. And then you have uh, at the bottom of the screen. I'm just let this down. Um, at the bottom of the screen here, you see that yellow bar that fills up if there's special attack. So once it once it fills up to the top, it starts to glow and it starts to let you know like, hey, I got a special attack. Use me. So once it fills up, you push the button and then it lets off their ultimate attack, which you know does heavy damage, obviously. Um, obviously, I can't do it because again, my team's really strong, so I can't really. Ex show that part until I get to somebody worth fighting but um that is the gist of the story mode you just going down a list you fill up this bar over here on the other side side over here and get to 30 you unlock the piccolo shard the free oh it's freezer shards this time okay cool I like to, I would like to get freezer so um I gotta finish that one another time so that's how the story mode works and now I'm gonna go to the tournament area because PvP we go to PvP this is the PvP ranking area as you see here that is the name of the people that you're about to fight and the level of that who they are. I'm only level 39, but my power level is 137,000. Um, as you can see, I'll probably go against Pride Troopers only because he has power levels weaker than mine and I can probably take him. This is why I can show you in depth how the supers go. And at the beginning of the match, of course, everybody uses their special attack. They fight to the death. See that move right there? That's a special attack. Uh, Goku. Vegeta uses his, Goku uses his, nukes every, oh my god, I'm losing. Okay, no, I won. Wait, no, T and Chan, ah! Oh! Okay, no, we got it, we good. I forgot I still had Goku and stuff, so. All right, so, yeah, so that's PvP. That's basically PvP in a nutshell. And I don't think there is an ending, I don't think there, and you also could get diamonds from doing PvP as well. So, I don't think there's an ending to it, but you basically just challenge, you know, you fight, you, like, you can also check the, to speed up the process. You have to watch the fight if you don't want to. Um, you fight. You go at it. It's on auto battle, so they will use it themselves. Like, you don't have to, like, control them and do anything. Again, I'm just too dope for words. Um, again, I didn't. It's not like I spent $20, $30, $40, $50 on the game. I literally only spent $2. And I'm at rank 3 only because I wanted to get the um, auto run thing for... Um, I'll show you that in a second. I'm going to do one more PvP just so you can, you know, get the gist of it and everything. I did three story modes. So I'm going to do three PvPs. Hopefully, I win this one because I haven't lost a PvP match yet, so. Um, get him, Goku. Get him, Goku. Spirit Bomb. Spirit Bomb. Oh, good one. Gallic Cannon. There we go. Hey, everybody survived. Sweet. All right, so that is based. That's PVP. That's a PVP for you, um, and that's how that works. You will go. Your reward here is first place is a million Dragon Ball. It's just a lot. I just don't know. I haven't gotten to. I'm only at ranking two twenty five hundred. I haven't really climbed up the rankings of that yet. Um, and then we have adventure mode. This is something that can be done if you're VIP three or level thirty five. Adventure mode is open to you, but you got to keep tapping go. That energy bar at the top of the screen is your how many times you can go. Um, and I'm trying to move it one more time. And you can see right there that's that level 39 bar is actually your EXP bar. You go to you go on an adventure in case you like run out of stamina. You can go on an adventure and get more experience to actually increase your level. I think the highest that it can go is times eight, and times eight gives you 56 experience. Um, basically, you just let this do it by itself. You might get some gear while you're, while you're adventuring with young Goku. Um, you're just running it. That's pretty much it. I also have cranberry juice. But. Oh 
that's it. You just do this. Uh, you level up your character just by going on an adventure. Um, it's really not difficult. You really can just sit here, let that 32 things run out. You can go check your email. Answer, not answer a phone call, but check your email. Play a game. Do some other stuff. Or wash some dishes. Clean up your room. Until that energy runs out. Which, like I said, is only 32, so... And it refreshes like uh like you know like a ticket refresh, so it'll come back and you can do it again. Um, what else is here? All right, so we have dungeon again. I explained to you dungeon is basically you go in, you got the time chamber, you go to hero training to do uh to get your hero promotion things. You go to gear training to get gear capsules. You go to coin test to get more gold. As you can see, my gold I'm not slacking on it. So, and the refit trial is to get the regents to make your android stronger. In case you're one of those people who like to make sure they're people are caught up to date so we do have here i'm gonna show you hero training hero training is not hard it's really not i can skip it but i'm not gonna show you hero training you just basically fighting 20 of those and you auto battle this i'm gonna speed it up because i don't feel like watching it and you kill 20 of these and once you kill 20 of those that's it then you get your little promotion regent you can do that three times a day and that's it so I'm gonna let that finish. All right. So MVP, and at the end of every match, they show you who did the most damage out of your team. Today it was Andre 18. So again, you do that. I'm gonna skip it because I don't want to watch it. Again, it was 18. Again, those, but skipping it does cost diamonds. So use that at your own risk. Um, it costs 20. So you skip it just so you don't have to play it again. And of course, 18 is MP again. Um, I would do it for gear capsule, but I do those later. Uh, world boss, of course, is like any other. Well, Brave Souls don't have this, but a world boss is basically somebody who is like mad strong. You just attack him with the most of your damage. Like he, you won't be able to kill him in one hit. He's level 24, but you can't kill him in one hit. I'll show. Oh, it hasn't started yet. And when does it start? When does? Okay, I don't see where it starts, but it hasn't started yet. So Demon King Piccolo is the world boss today. Uh, the number one person who did the most damage is Keldeon. I don't know who that is, but he did a massive amount. I can't even count that. Um, Heroes Hall is where you'll go to get shards for your characters. Um, you got Goku, Krillin, Young Goku, Frieza, Piccolo, Tien Han, Tien Shin Han, uh, Ginyu Forest. Again, at the bottom of the screen, it does say a level requirement. So you will take your risk in doing that. Uh, and sell, Frieza, as you know, it goes on if you want to get the shards for it. You can auto loot these things if you don't want to do them. If but the only way to auto loot these, you would have to finish all three of them first. You click on here. Once you finish all three of these, then you can auto loot it, so you ain't got to come back to it. Like I can just push all loot because I've done our Goku. So I get my gold, I get my pieces for them, and then right here we got Krillin. Again, you have to finish all three of them. I haven't touched it yet because I didn't feel like doing Krillin at the moment. So that's basically how that works. So once you finish all three, you no longer have to go back in there and fight them again, especially if it's a real difficult battle. You just auto loot it, get your shards. Once you finish it, just get your shards, call it a day. Um, where am I at? Spaceship is, I haven't done spaceship yet. Um, so I, you would click on it, I guess. I haven't done this yet, so I don't know what this is. Okay, so you kill 15 targets. I see that. And then you kill him, of course. And that's it, right? Okay, Goku's MVP. So you do that and you get these Dragon Balls. Again, those Dragon Balls are for gear. You can only do this three times a day. So you can either choose King Kai's Home to get Dragon Balls for the gear. Holy Temple for promotion things. And Wilderness for promotions as well. You can also change the battlefield. It'll cost you 50 diamonds. Change it, see what you want to go to. But that's that. Uh, Corrin's Tower is open at level 40. I haven't gotten there yet, so I don't know what that does. And then the Red Ribbon Army is supposed to be a... I want to say it's like a battlefield, but I don't know exactly how it works. I've never done it. Uh, Ace, Century, Gogeta. Oh, I think it's like a battlefield. I can't fight any of these people because they're really strong. And So, yeah. You would come here if you have, like, really strong people. And you see, I don't have many strong people. So I'm not about to go into that. And there's one more here, but they haven't unlocked it yet. 
So that's that. Ooh, 25 minutes in. Jesus Christ, this is a long uh, explanation video. So I was trying to make it short, but I knew it was a lot of stuff on here to like literally talk about. So uh, let me see. Let me put it over here because you already know my level and how cool I am. Um, you have over here in the top right, the top right, the top right corner, you have the top up area where, of course, if you want to put, if you want to invest money in the game, that's where you would go to top up your stuff. We have the event column where you would come here to claim, ooh, a six star hero. Ooh, let's get it. Okay. That's new. That actually is just a login gift. You can get that just from logging in. You get these for spending your... You, you spend your diamonds to get bees, which I don't do. Um, you come here. If you're online for a long period of time, you all you work your way up to the seven, the online for 90 days. I mean, 90 minutes or hour and a half. If you're online for an hour and a half, you'll get a seven-star hero chest, which is really dope. So I did not know that. So I might have to be on this video for like... For like, uh, for like an hour and a half. I don't know what I would do for an hour and a half. I'd probably just sit on my charger and just accumulate. Because I definitely want the 7 star hero chest. Now that I know that's what that does, I didn't even know that. Um, you have the level up gift here. Once you get to level 40, you get this gift. The level 50, you get these. Levels 55. So they, Vegito said 5 star exceed. That would be helpful. Uh, they do have a Hercule candy. Now when you get a Herc when you get a candy, it's like a, um, a hero locked up in a boo candy. So when you get something that says like Goku candy or Cell candy or Kid Boo candy, you un you just use it and it'll give you the character for free. So just so I'll let you know that as well. Who else we got here? Any other candies? Gotenks candy. That's at level 140. Uh, what else? All right, I'll check those out later. But I've claimed these already. So I think the highest you can go is 140. I'm not sure. Um, total cost you get these for spending diamonds, of course. Uh, once you spend the amount of diamonds here, I've already spent 3,100 diamonds again all collected from the game um and then you got the sand god thing i don't know what this is for i think you top up to claim these characters things i'm not really sure I, I, I wouldn't mind that but if i really want to top up and do it i would but if i was making baller money like that then i would but i don't i'm not making that so there's reincarnation here these are like new stuff you top up to a certain amount of diamonds then you unlock this stuff as well so this stuff you don't have to do but it's there for you in case you put money into it uh, Dragon Balls, do that for that. Road to Immortals, uh, you do the Corn Tower, so now I know what that's for. So yeah, this is where you get your, all your stuff from. I've never gotten this. How, how does this go? 250. So Super Saiyan 3 Goku is the last one you get for going to 250. So that's what that is. Um, uh, League, of course, is where you go for your uh, guild, so to speak. This is your guild area. You should go to your shop here. Where your, where your guild points are you go to your members you see who's all here um oh you're gonna pinch that's cool uh you show how who's been online the last few days this and the other you have aura i don't know what this means oh okay so let's add some stuff bow 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 this so i can be a part of the team bow 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 okay well, you can have all that so you contribute that. I think the ore level is... I don't know what the lead... Oh, there it is. It gives you 6% HP bonus and attack bonus. So the more you put into the league aura, the stronger you make your league. Obviously. I just kind of know that because I've never done it before. Uh, there's war. Final match. Starts from, I'm assuming you fight each other. I'm not, I don't really know what that is. Uh, donate. You donate money to your league, obviously. Um, I don't want to do this right now. But, you know, we'll just, we'll just say that. And then we have dungeon here, which you'll go in here and do it with your team. I think I'm not really sure because I've never done this before, so I'm kind of new to the the league. I just got into it, so. But that is pretty much this game. They do have VIP packs and sales and stuff as well, um, but I haven't done it like I said. I don't really invest too much into that. So actually, let me collect my stuff while we thought we were talking. So in the middle of me explaining everything to you, I've also started to do my dailies and stuff. So. I can do that as well. And since all the times, uh, exchange coins with Hercule. I can do that as well. All right. So you do that once. You don't have to use your diamonds. You only use it once for free. You can get that done as well. It's not really hard. Um, use XP potions five times. I can't because I don't really need to. Clear any dungeon 15 times. Uh, oh, I forgot to mention. Also, you can also do this here 
um, there is an auto loot button. Once you finish the mission, you can auto loot the mission. So if I want to just redo this one just for the experience, I can just push auto loot here. And it'll take, you know, 10 times. It'll take all my experience, obviously. I leveled up to level 40. So now I've unlocked Corn's Tower. So I don't want to do that right now, but it'll tell you anyway. See, it'll unlock Rune and Corn Tower. Uh, retake and receive a lot of rune essence which will greatly improve your chances something something so this is what this is okay so I just unlocked it on camera for you guys so uh, I guess I could challenge it a challenge I guess um, I don't know what I want to see what hard is so yes I'm gonna challenge it oh okay there's nothing okay I can do that that's not hard all right so I'm assuming you climb up the Corrin's Tower to 250. You get these little pieces of, what's this? Corrin's Tower emblem you can buy gear at the capsule shop with. Um, I'll show you that in a minute. Um, only two failure opportunities. Uh, do that here. And I think the thing at the bottom shows you how much power you would need in order to beat the place. See, you just climb up the you climb up the the tower, pretty much. I don't know if there's a limit to how many how far you can go up. Like I don't know if there's a limit to how many times you can go up that tower until you have to stop. Cause you know how most things have like a cap. Like you can't run this all in one day. I don't know what the cap is here, but as you can see, you just climb up the tower. You're gaining experience from it. They have an auto loot feature, in which most auto loot features are not usable until you get a three star on the or until you finish it or complete it. So. Um, I don't know. Oh, you can only fail twice. Okay, so then I think once you drop down, once you lose twice, you start back over. That's my assumption. I'm not just showing that one. Don't quote me on that. But, so I did unlock level 40, which means I unlock more stuff. So, where'd I go? I was at somewhere. Quest. So, yeah, this way you go again to do your dailies and stuff. So, once you do all that, knock them all out. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. Again, I get more gear. I mean, I get more diamonds for doing just doing this i get diamonds all the time so it's not like i said if you want to invest money into it you can if you don't it's up to you as well i'm already up to a thousand and that's only been me explaining this game for the last half hour so whew. all right so what else can i show just to show you how it works all right so i just push enhance all that just costs money obviously but the gold is really easy to come by as well so upgrade you click on this obviously you just click it until they reach the level 40 and then it'll tell you you can't go no further so I try to do that for everybody to keep them up to date, especially like Vegeta and stuff. Until I get like the newer people, then yeah, this is what I usually go here. And you see how uh, Vegeta's gear is red? This is the second to highest level gear. And then um, Goku's yellow is yellow here. That's the highest level right there. Of course, you can see it is the highest level because of its its um, Dragon Ball status. Really up there. So I give it all to Goku because he's my heart. He's my hardest hitting character i think yeah he is all right so again you just enhance everybody's you know gear and make sure they're kept up to date uh you level them up to keep them up to date not really hard like i said the exp stuff is not the it's not hard at all to come by i guess right now it's not bad for me because they're all it's still like a low like such a low level that i can keep up with everything and they level up together so um again that's how you do that promotional is i'll show you promotional so you promote those little promotion card that you see me get through this entire thing um you basically just click these select all let's forget that you select all of them and it ranks them up you know to whatever it makes them to right now android 18 is plus 12. um continue this level her make her stronger okay all right so you level it up to plus 20 once you get the plus 20 like she's plus 12 uh goku's plus 20 vegeta's plus 20. Only because I don't have the same characters to make them exceed. Now, young Goku, I exceeded him already. I just need to use promotion cards. These promotion cards in order to make him pass his limit. So, I don't want to do that right now because I kind of still want to use Krillin. So, I'm not going to do that to him. I'm not going to do that to him like that. So, I think that's everything, right? No, the capsule shop. Capsule shop is pretty simple. It's pretty explanatory. You buy stuff here. Uh, you can buy your stamina things here. Uh, you can buy your XP things here. Um, you can buy them in bulk too. You can just push 10 
until you don't until you need them you know what i'm saying I don't, i'm not about to buy all those but you know i need to keep all my gold i kind of do that a lot this is for the gold area this is the market where you get the coins tower stuff from you can buy your stuff here um there's also the emblem shop this is for certain things i forgot what it is though i don't forgot where you get these from i haven't gotten it yet so there's that then there's hall of fame where you just like and you get a free little thing right here. I don't know how to get these other ones because I don't know how to switch off of them, I think. Like, it won't let me switch them. So, it is what it is. That's the highest hall. That's the Hall of Famer in the, in the, in the server right now, I believe. All right. Let me see. I think I had an Android chest. So, you, this is where you go to do that. You pick use. You'll unlock the stuff for the Android. Uh, we have a six-star hero shot. We got four of these. So, um... We'll see what we get from here. So we get sales, sale, Majin Buu, and Frieza. We have two star gear capsules. We we'll knock them out as well. Um, and then we have reincarnation stones. I don't know what is this reincarnation. I haven't really used it yet. Um, nothing ex exceptionally new at that moment. Just a bunch of stuff that I don't use at the moment. XP. Oh, XP 500 by devouring the essence. That's that's nice to know. Oh, these are upgradable. Okay, cool. So this is what the runes are for. I haven't done the runes thing yet, so I don't know exactly what that's for. So I'll, I'll figure that out in a minute. As you see, I'm just claiming all my stuff as I explain this to you. So I think it's one more I got to do. In the, oh, I got to clear the dungeon 15 times. So uh, clear an elite dungeon three times. Can I do elite? Yeah, I think I got enough to do elite, right? Yeah, I do. Okay, so I'm going to do elite and just farm that one. All right, of course, elite costs more. So that's obviously, that's an obvious thing. Oh, all right, okay, we'll later. We'll just do this one. Boom. All right, cool. All right, so that's done. So then we go back, and then we finish the last two. So I finished my daily, just explain this to y'all. It took me 30 minutes, but whatever. And then you click here, you click on the boxes to claim all your stuff. Again, each box you open, you get more diamonds. So again, it's very free. And the last one, you get 100. So basically, it's not a pay-to-win game. It's a pay-to-win game if you want it to be a pay-to-win game. If you want to be patient and just actually run the content in the game and just finish it, then you'll get your diamonds. You get your diamonds on a regular daily basis. You saw where I started off with today, and you see where I'm at now. So as you, as you can see, it's not hard to accumulate this much diamonds. So, um, but oh, I don't like my new power. So this is what I mean right here. Um, I can add another player. I can add another person, and that with when I will add Krillin. Put in. So now it increased their attack. Like they're did I put Goku? Why is Goku down there? No. Thank you. Like, no, don't don't put Goku down there. That's not where he belongs. He's in my team. So you put that down there. And again, the the team straight, like he doesn't get any from He doesn't get any boost from him, but she does. She gets a Krillin boost because of course that's her husband. He also gets a Krillin boost. He only gets Boma and Goku. His other two are Frieza and Trunks, and his other two are Piccolo and Frieza. Her three are all the Super Saiyans. So, again, that's how the partnership works. I wanted to show that as well. Um, I think, if I remember carefully, that's it. I think I explained enough of it. Um, the stamina system, of course, that regenerates over time. The diamond system is very easy to obtain. It reminds me of King's Ray, personally. Um, the gold system, as you can see, I got a shit ton of gold, but that's only because I run a lot of stuff and I just let my gold accumulate. Um, also when you top up the first time, they give you like a bunch of gold. So it's like a dollar. That's how I got young Goku. Young Goku was literally one dollar. And then that's it. It's really easy to just go through after that. So, um, tell me what y'all think. Um, hopefully I got through this entire video. This is a really long video. Really, really long video. And just me explaining the basics of Arena of Saiyans. If you're a Dragon Ball Z person and you wouldn't mind having like this to play on the side while your Brave Souls is getting finished or, or restocking tickets or the other game that you play or whatever, it's doing what it's doing. This is a good game to play. I like it personally. Um, it's just my personal preference though. Um, but tell me what y'all think. Um, leave a comment section in the leave a message in the comment section below if you want to see like. So a live stream of the game or me just or keeping you up with all my new my teammates and everything just let me know and i definitely would do it if you would like it so thank you all again for whoever watched this entire video um i'm gonna try to put them in clips at the bottom so you can at least see like where you want to see the um specific basic information of everything 
Um, if you wanted me to go more in depth with any specific item or category in the game, just let me know in the section. Um, but appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Long with the sound is off. I'll catch y'all in my next video, which I want to have to do. Peace out. Um, oh, Crusaders. That's my next one. So, uh, yeah. Y'all be easy. Take care. I'll see y'all next time.